Another great month full of powerful releases from Zoom webinars and events. Let's jump right in. First up, concurrency. That's right. Event hosts can now host multiple events at the same time with concurrency. It's a real simple concept here. We now allow you to host as many concurrent events per hub as you have unlimited licenses on your account. So you have three unlimited uh, SaaS subscription model licenses. Great, you can now run up to three events per hub. This is great for any organization that's running higher volumes of uh, webinars, just like our digital customer success team here at Zoom. This is a big step forward. Uh, you can either work out of a shared pool of licenses now, or admins can jump in and manage concurrency for individuals individual hubs, however you'd like. So would encourage you to go check out the support article. It's very comprehensive, and we'll be sure to answer any of your questions about this feature, but super exciting for us. Email is getting better and better here at Zoom. We now support multiple email templates. You can now duplicate the template that you're interested in, adjust the audience. You can filter the audience as needed and then customize the content. This opens up a lot of possibilities for uh, new and fresh email strategies, things like Custom confirmation emails by ticket type or different reminder emails for your different special roles. Alt hosts get one email and your speakers maybe get a different reminder email. Great way to uh, really get everybody the messaging that they need. So you can now create up to 30 total email templates and really start perfecting your uh, event email communication strategy. So check that out. Get started with that today. Real simple new feature here, but I really like it. You can now autoplay and loop videos on your event pages. This is a great way to capture your audience's attention. Maybe you want to autoplay that uh, sizzle reel, that, that pretty sizzle reel that you've made for your video, or loop some instructional content of some sort, however you want to do it. This is a great way to make those event pages uh, really, really grab your audience's attention a little more quickly. New change here for auto record behavior in webinars. Please turn this on. You'd hate to miss any of the action. But uh, previously, if you had started or paused or stopped the recording uh, prior to the webinar going live, that would affect the auto record behavior. Now, it no longer does. When you go live for your audience, that auto record kicks in no matter what's happened up till that point in the session. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. But uh, if you do, this will definitely help you uh, be be a nice significant change and make sure that nothing nothing gets missed on the recording. You can now create more natural feeling simulive webinars with a, a delayed start. So we understand that most live webinars do not get started at 10 a.m. on the dot exactly. And this delayed start lets simulive uh, replicate that behavior a little more, uh, feels, feels a little more natural, obviously. So we're constantly looking to make this experience uh, better and better for your audience. This just gives everybody a second or two to get settled, to get started before that session and that recording kick off. So we hope you enjoy this feature. Nice update for our multi-session event lobby experience. Tracks have now been uh, segmented out of. They used to be a little drop-down filter. Now they're separate uh, tabs there across the session listing. This just gives your attendees a quicker and easier way to find all of the relevant uh, sessions that might be in a track. So you see that here in the image, enterprise, innovation, and IT leaders, whatever your tracks may be. This is just a nice, nice visual update and helps uh, your attendees get where they want to be going. So great place to check this out would be our upcoming September event, Zoomtopia. Uh, registration is open. This is our flagship event every year. Would love to invite you. Would love to see you there. Uh, come register. Come attend uh, Zoomtopia. See everything that Zoom has to offer and maybe more importantly, uh, host it all on Zoom events. My favorite update for this month is Content Hub Search is back. Yes, uh, you can see it right there under the hub header. Uh, but visitors can now search for events or video content across your hub. Search results are displayed on a separate uh, search results page. So go check it out today. Start searching. Uh, look for production studio videos or something like that on our Zoom webinars and events hub. I'm sure you'll like this. Final update this month, we are continuing to enhance the experience for on-demand video content. So now you can bring that content fully to life with embedded, timed polls and quizzes. This is super, super exciting. Uh, simple to set up. You can use polls from your poll library or create new ones for each video. Set the poll or quiz to trigger at a specific time. There you can kind of see that we're scrubbing it there and then hitting that time. That's perfect. And of course, all of the responses are captured 
featured in analytics. This is a great feature for any of us trying to capture our audience's attention or measure their learning in any way. So check it out today. This is another great feature for our uh, new advanced video CMS uh, features here. We hope you really, really enjoy it. So. Thank you so much for your attention today. This was a great month here in uh, July. As always, this is uh, not a comprehensive list. If you want the comprehensive list, check out our release notes. Thank you for choosing Zoom webinars and events, and we'll see you in August.